Are you thinking about moving to Greensboro, North Carolina? I am here today in downtown and I am going to take you on a tour. And I can't show you all the things that Greensboro has to offer today. It's just too much to show in just one video. But I'm gonna show you little bits and pieces of why I love this great city. I live here, I love it here, and I want you to come and visit and possibly move here as well. Uh, my name is Meredith Parsons, and I will be doing a video each week. So please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications because I want you to stay up to date on what's going on in the greater Greensboro Triad area. So are you ready for your tour? Let's go. Greensboro is about 300,000 um, population. Um, it's the perfect size. Everything around here is very doable in terms of travel and getting around. The downtown area is super walkable. It's so nice. Um, they've revamped a, a bunch of the old buildings downtown, um, which I love old buildings and I love how it's growing and getting bigger. And they've just done a lot with like green spaces and so let me just show you some of the buildings that we have here. So right behind me is Bourbon Bowl. Uh, you guessed it, you can drink bourbon there and you can bowl. It's a great space that's good for families. So um, families can go there if you wanna take your kids out to bowl for a little bit. And then you're also centrally located downtown. So it is family friendly and it's got a great outdoor space. So if you are looking to be outside, um, you would definitely like it. And behind me here, is the Wrangler building, which there's a lot of mural paintings on buildings um, around Greensboro, which I love. And right next to it is the Bearded Goat, a good local pub. But here is Bourbon Bowl. It's fun at nighttime. <gasps> you can hear the trains. So Greensboro is known as the Gate City. And that is because back in the day, um, we were a huge textile uh, city and also furniture would come through. So every once in a while we have trains coming in. It's back there where we started. But yeah, um, Gate City. And then our second nickname is um, Tournament Town. And that's because we have the ACC tournament that comes and we have the Greensboro Aquatic Center, which that also ha brings a lot of people coming into the city and we've got lots of colleges. We have five colleges here, so that brings in a lot of people also playing sports. But, so, Gate City and Tournament Town. Let me show you some of these old buildings. This restaurant's super good. I just ate there this week. Juan so good. Chez Genese is a French cuisine that is super amazing. I don't think they're open for dinner. I think it's only for breakfast and lunch, but that's definitely a place I would hit up if I were coming into town. It's right there behind me. So good. There's the cat cafe. They like cats room room. This one right there. I don't know. I'm a dog person, if I have to be honest. I would say one great thing about, not one, there's lots. Um, one good thing that I would say that I really like about North Carolina is we've got all four seasons. So I'll point out some of the trees when we're walking. Um, Lewis and Elm just opened up within the last year. Um, they've got amazing foods, amazing drinks. It's right here on the corner. It's right behind me. Definitely a must if you're in town. See the paintings up on the building. So yeah, this is where we are right on the corner of Elm and Lewis. So down this street, on Lewis Street is South End, and you've got South End Brewing, 
and my children's favorite boxcar, which this place is a genius spot. It is a bar that also is an arcade. So it's fun for all, especially for families, again. But you don't have to have kids to go there. They kick them out at nine. I think during COVID it may be seven, but that's a great place to go and bring your kids out. But all these things at night are lit up. All those are lit up. It's so fun. But here's Boxcar down here. There's a parking lot behind you or down further. So that's got, you never have any problems parking down here. Um, if you can parallel park, you're good to go. But we've got parking garages and parking lots as well. Um, and then South End Brewery is down there. Let's walk over there. So, here's Fainting Goat. Fainting Goat is one of our many um, local breweries down here. And this is where they make all the magic happen. South End Brewery is another great local find here in Greensboro. Um, I would definitely hit that up if we were, I was downtown. Um, they've got food, they've got drinks, and they've got a great outdoor space and bands come and play and you can sit, they've got fire pits, and so you can be outside basically year round. I mean, that's, that's a good thing about um, living here is that our, our weather is it, it's pretty tolerable for most people. <laughs> Let me take you down the path. It's closed today. I'll have to bring you back. But this is still a great space. And again, more murals, more art. One of the fun things is because Wrangler Jeans is here, they have lots of sculptures around the city that you can go and find. And they're all painted something different that has to do with North Carolina. There's a skate shop right here. One of my favorites, Vintage De Vogue, which has, uh, obviously, all things vintage. So we've got art galleries down here, we've got pubs, we've got coffee shops, we've got restaurants. This is an awesome barber shop. It's Rocks, Rocks Hair Shop. Um, CTG is behind me. It's one of the many um, theaters that we have downtown. Um, you have the Community Theater of Greensboro, you have Triad Stage, you have Carolina Theater, and then what just opened up was this um, Stephen Tanger. And it is, they've got off-Broadway shows, which has been a major addition to the Greensboro area. Right behind me is Little Brother Brewing, which is one of the local brews around here. And then we've got Natty Greens right behind us. They do a ton of local brews here for Greensboro as well. Around the corner is McCool, so you've got a whole bunch of little, little pubs that are within spitting distance. And also next door to Natty Greens is um, Gray's Tavern. And then one of my favorite coffee shops is the Green Bean. If you are looking for a good cheesecake place, Cheesecakes by Alex, right behind me, is the spot to go. I'm gonna say, for the best cheesecakes in Greensboro. Hopefully I don't get some backlash on that. My favorite falafel place here in Greensboro is the Jerusalem Market. One of my favorite local artists here in Greensboro is uh, Gina Elizabeth Franco. And here's one that she's done. She does a rotating art on some of the buildings here in town, so you get to go every couple of months and it changes. But this one is Rainbow Alley, which is always fun. just taking back some buildings that aren't being used and great alleys that aren't used and making them beautiful. I mean, why wouldn't you wanna have a pretty city to live in? Here's Carolina Theater behind me, which is one of our great theaters that we have here. There's General Nathaniel Green behind me. It's a statue, not the real person. That's who Greensboro is named after. Here's my favorite Irish watering hole, McCool's. So good especially for St. Patty's Day.
Right behind me is Center City Park. So it's one of the green spaces that they've added to downtown Greensboro just to give you some green space. Everybody needs to be outside soaking in the fresh air. And um, let me go show you what's over here. And just a block away is the Bower Park as well. So we've got two outdoor spaces and um, it's definitely been a great addition to Greensboro. Couple stone walkways, brick pavers. What a fun space. A lot of times in the summer they do movies in the park and they do a big projector and then um, do lots of movies and the kids love it and you can come out and do whatever. Have a picnic, watch a movie. There's a bunch of tables over there so people can have their lunch when they're on their lunch break, sit in the grass, listen to the water. It's really a great space and the backdrop is so pretty. There's amazing buildings behind us. And then right over there is LeBauer Park. Let me go and show you that. Okay, so down here is Little Bower Park. And here is usually a splash, a splash pad because it's gotten a little bit cooler for here. It's gotten a little bit cooler, they've turned it off. But then in the winter, they turn it into an ice skating rink. So it's great fun for like kids to get in there. And then over here behind there is um, a playground with that like super rubbery stuff, which is so great and wonderful. Um, the kids love it. There's a rock climbing wall and um, it really is just a great space down here. There's some green space over there as well for adults and they have concerts and um, it really is just a great area. So let me just give you a little quick tour of the playground in here. And then also right here is the Cultural Arts Center. It's about four levels of all things art. Just dance, instruments, um, art, um, pottery, just everything that it has to do with art happens in that building. And um, it really is a great thing for the community um, is the arts. So, um, but this is a pretty awesome space. And then look at all this fun stuff. It's right in the middle of the day. So kids are probably napping. Oh, so. It is called the Triad area because it's made up of three cities. It's made up of Greensboro, it's made up of High Point, and it's made up of Winston-Salem. They are all within 30 minutes of each other, making a triangle, hence why it's the Triad. Um, there's several other cities sprinkled in there, but um, those are what make it the Triad area. Um, it's centrally located right in the state. One of the great things is that you can be to the beach in three and a half hours, you can be to the mountains in three and a half hours. That's another plus of why I like living here in Greensboro, North Carolina. But check out this space. This is super fun at night. Um, this netting up top is um, lit up and it's um, like hot pink and orange. But this is a great space for concerts and um, another outdoor green space. There's a couple of restaurants right here if you want to grab a burger or there's an Asian place. And then right behind it is the Stephen Tanger Center I told you about for the performing arts. And they have off Broadway shows and um, it, it, it really is absolutely phenomenal. And it is really a great addition to, to Greensboro. I totally lied, it's not an Asian place. <laughs> It's just a place where you can get beer and coffee. And then the other one is Porterhouse Burger over there, which their burgers are amazing. So here's Steven Tanger behind me. And then um, that's gonna sum up our tour. I hope you've liked my tour. I really do love it here. And I hope that if you have any questions that you could just let me know, drop them in the comments below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications because I'm gonna be bringing you something great about the Greensboro Triad area every single week.